Hello and welcome to Sherry Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, where we have a wide selection of over 350 new and pre-owned vehicles in stock for immediate delivery. If you're on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button so you can be assured you see all of our brand new arrivals, whether it's a trade-in like this one or one we're buying at the auction, as soon as they arrive at the dealership. If you're on YouTube and want to see any of the still pictures of this or a full description and the price, please visit our website at SherryChrysler.com. That's S-H-E-R-R-Y-C-H-R-Y-S-L-E-R.com. Today we have a brand new local trade that we just traded in. It's a 2005 Chevrolet Cobalt two-door uh, with just over 150,000 miles on it. As you can see, the front bumper do definitely does have some fading on the paint. Um, but definitely all intact as far as the bumper goes. Everything seems to be uh, all there. I don't see any wrecks as far as dents um, on the front bumper. It does have what looks to be um, brand new, if not brand new, very, very new tires put on this vehicle. And this vehicle does have the uh, factory 16-inch Chevrolet aluminum wheel put on it. Black uh, tinted windows um, on the sides and on the, on the rear glass does have the rear spoiler and you'll see some more fading along that back uh, trunk lid right there uh, but overall on the rear I don't see any dents uh, not a bad little car for uh, the money that's for sure same with the passenger side the tires do look really really good um, they look all to be matching tires with good tread depth this vehicle does have a uh, a moonroof on that uh, reason I call that a moonroof is because uh, the, the power I went to put the power top back and it did kind of get out of alignment a little bit so uh, that's more like enter at your own risk um, I got it all the way open all the way shut uh, I just had to play with it a little bit but uh, definitely one I'd probably leave closed and like I said this is a local trade and we just we just like to uh, advertise them as we see them uh, before we take them to the auction to see if we can sell them to a retail customer that's just looking for a cheap uh, nice car so that, that's why we're pointing everything out power locks power windows the power windows do work the power locks do work and the power mirrors do work also uh, the flooring on the driver's side a little discoloration but overall the carpet's in good condition uh, same with the driver's seat I don't there's no rips no tears uh, nothing along them lines uh, pretty nice little car on the back uh, I don't see any rips, no tears. Carpet seems to be in really good condition also. Uh, inside looks to be, I would say, overall I'd give it a seven on condition, maybe seven and a half. Really good condition considering the year. It does have controls for your uh, radio. As you can see here on the right side, you do have your volume and then you also do have your cruise control setting um, for your increase uh, and decrease as far as your speed go right there um, You can change your channel also from the steering wheel um, And then you turn your cruise control on and off with that end button right there Like I said, it does have just over 100,000 miles, 150,000 to be exact um, It's a cold day here where uh, we live in Ohio uh, The heat is blowing nice and warm out of all the vents um, it does have the aftermarket radio, but the hand controls on the steering wheel do obviously still work. So they actually installed it the proper way, which not a lot of people do that. Um, you operate your heating and AC controls down here. Um, all the fan speeds seem to be working. Um, I changed it. I have it on defrost and feet right now. I changed it earlier. I have it on, I'm sorry. I have it on right up at my face right now, and I had it on defrost and feet, and it seemed to be working just fine. Flipping through those uh, different categories as far as how you want the vents to come out. Nice little cubby hole slash armrest located between the uh, front passenger driver's seat. Passenger seat seems to be in good, con good condition. Also, same with the floorboards, a little discoloration, but no rips or tears. Again, this is a uh, 2005 Chevrolet Cobalt, black in color, blacked out uh, mirrors, or not mirrors, windows all the way around. Uh, a nice aluminum wheel with really good tires put on it. Drove it up the road, seems to shift okay. And drive okay. Um, it does have that moon roof up top um, that I did open. Did have a little kinking going on it, but uh, it does. The motor seems to be working fine. It seems like it's just, it was just off track. Not not nothing I want to try again, but it's there. Uh, if you're looking for a very cheap, economical car, please check this one out. You can uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to check all the still pictures of this, 
um, and a full description of it on our website, please visit our website at sherrychrysler.com. That's S-H-E-R-R-Y-C-H-R-Y-S-L-E-R.com.